Hi guys, I want to talk about Chrom for a little bit. So I'm going to give some theory craft on Chrom based on the current uh, data we have. So overall, for a basic conclusion, I think Chrom is basically like a better version of Roy uh, in almost every way on average, except for the fact that his recovery is probably going to be a lot worse. He basically has Ike's up B, but without the side B mix up. So I think that could really hurt him. And that could determine who's better between Marf and Roy. So either Roy's going to be better because of his recovery being better, or Chrom's going to be better because he's he seems better overall across the board outside of that upbeat recovery. And that's just my current opinion based on current theory craft. I've also been looking at some frame data because I was kind of curious and interested. His forward air comes out on frame 9, which is about 3 frames slower than someone like maybe Lucina, but it's like a frame faster than Roy in Smash 4. And uh, the total time is 32 frames, which is actually pretty fast when you consider that Marf and Lucina it's a longer total time than that by like, it's like 38 frames total time in Smash 4 or something. So it, th that means that the gap between like, if you land the fair, then you're gonna have a much bigger frame advantage than if Marf or Lucina land the fair. So let's say Lucina hits the fair, like in an edge guard situation, she won't be able to like combo fair to fair, but Krom might be able to combo fair into fair, fair to nair, fair to up air, fair to up B. Uh, because of the frame advantage. So what does that mean? That means when you're uh, Not only will short hot fair probably auto cancel which means you have some mix-ups in neutral but when when you're edge guarding you probably want to jump off and throw out fair preemptively because It's not something you can do as easy on reaction like Marfa Lucina They can jump out there and they can choose to throw out the fair early or they can just wait and react to you And when you do a laggy move then they can do their their quick aerial with Krom, you probably want to do it since it, he's more in the f favor of frame trapping, and without the tip or make, and you know the tip of the sword is fine on like Roy. With Krom, you might want to just jump out there, try to land the tip or fair early, and then even if they try to air dodge it or evade you, the there isn't much lag after the fair misses. That that means that you could frame trap people early, or on hit you could. Uh, uh, potentially combo it to certain things. Now one good idea I had that could make Krom more viable, that could potentially, we don't know because the game didn't come out yet, so this is, this would have to be labbed. This is just a theory that I think should be labbed by Krom players. What you could do is like do your jab, he has like the Roy jab, and that combos to fair. Remember when you short hop fair, it doesn't send them as far. It does 85% of the normal knockback. So you could do like fair, uh, sorry, you could do jab into short hop fair, and then at certain low, maybe mid percent, let's say they're at like 40%, you might be able to combat that fair into another move. Other moves, what well, by other moves, what I mean is a fair fair, and the second fair will be stronger because it does its full power. Even though it'll be a little bit stale, it'll still be stronger because it's not from a short hop fair because of a new mechanic where short hop moves are weaker. You could do fair fair or fair to nair, which is a frame six move, or you could uh, maybe, this is the one that needs to be labbed, you could maybe do fair to up B. And why could that be good? That's because uh, his up B is also frame 9, by the way. Krom's fair, is, uh, Krom's fair is frame 9, but Krom's up B is also frame 9. And side B frame is frame 9. So he has a lot of frame 9 moves, but the Nair and up air faster. But anyway, what I mean is, if you can somehow combo Krom's fair into up B while off stage, that means you could tr potentially trade stocks of people. So let's say you get a percent, let's say it's you're at like 150 and they're at like 0 or a low percent. That's a situation where you want to gamble this upbeat trade. Or let's say you got the first stock and you're at like three stock 100 and they're at two stock whatever percent. That's another situation where, you're, where you have the lead where, or where it's convenient to go for the trade and you could try to combo that into a trade. If this can true combo, that could be really good because uh, that means he'll be able to take you down with him. And then having a lead can be very advantageous. And in other situations, you could maybe create a 50-50 where it's like, oh, I waited for the air dodge, and then you either do an up trade or a down air. But we haven't really seen like his certain moves, like his down to down air and stuff. But these are just some theories. I feel like since his fair doesn't have Roy's tipper mechanic, and since it has a good uh, frame advantage after it, jumping off stage to try to land a tipper fair could be a good strategy of him. And being able to combo things like jab fair into fair or narrow up B or whatever, that should be labbed to see what is possible because we don't know what's possible yet without the game coming out. We can only theory craft, hey, these could be some ideas that could maybe be really good, but we it would require extensive testing to see what truly works or not. Or if it works, like if it's like, it only works in this percent range and it's match out, like we have to figure out what's true, what's 50 50, what's more common. But yeah, these are some ideas I had of Crown based on just looking at his data. 
I'm not sure exactly how, how good it'll be. If I had to take a guess, if I had to take a gamble right now, I'd say he's probably going to be worse than Marfa and Lucina, but better than Roy. But there's a lot of, all those things I said are some things that I'm definitely thinking about uh, in terms of how good the character's going to be. And it's probably some stuff I'm going to look up right, uh, right when the character comes out soon after the game's released. I'm going to do more theorycraft videos, so please make sure to subscribe. Thank you.